I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on polynomials. The question is, if the polynomial f of x equals to ax cubed minus 7x square minus bx plus 24 has x plus 2 and x minus 3 as two factors, then the value of b is, this b, is what? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we'll apply remainder theorem to solve this particular question. We know that there are two factors are given to us. Factors means remainder is zero, right? You could also say factor theorem for that matter. So when I divide this polynomial by x plus two, the remainder is zero. It really means that the value of this function, let's say f of x, at minus 2. So f of minus 2 should be 0. So if I substitute minus 2 here, I get a times minus 2q minus 7 times minus 2 square minus b times minus 2 plus 24. So f of minus 2 is 0 since they are factors. So write 0 equals 2. Minus 2 cube is minus 8 a. That gives us plus, right? So plus 4 times 7 gives us 28 minus. Minus minus becomes plus. We get 2b plus 24. Now we have a relation between a and b here. We can actually uh, simplify this a bit. We have minus 8a plus 2b. Combining these two terms, we get minus 4. We can divide by 2 and then we get minus 4a plus b uh, and then this becomes minus 2. Right? We'll call this as our equation number 1. So this we got using x plus 2 as the factor. Now as you know x minus 3 is also a factor and therefore the value of the function at 3 x equals to 3 should also be 0. So if I substitute 3 here, I get a times 3q minus 7 times 3 square minus b times 3 plus 24. And that has to be 0 since it is a factor. 27a minus 9 times 7 is 63 minus 3b plus 24. And that gives us 27a minus 3b and let's combine these two terms let's use calculator 24 minus 63 minus 39 equals to 0 we can actually divide all these terms by 3 so we get 0 equals 2 dividing this by 3 we get 9a minus b and uh, this is 3 13 right 13 we'll call this as equation number 2 right so we have two equations and two variables if i add these two equations i can eliminate b and find a right so let's do that at least so now we'll do equation one plus equation two so we'll add these two equations correct so what do we get we get zero equals two minus four plus nine gives us five a minus p plus p and minus p is 0 and minus 2 minus 13 gives us minus 15. Now we can solve for a from here bring 15 here 15 equals to 5a and that gives us a equals to 15 over 5 which is 3. Once we get the value of a we can get the value of b also using any one of these equations, correct? So, so let's use equation number one, which is, let me rewrite this, zero equals to minus four, a, a is three for us, so we'll write three here, plus b minus two. So bringing these terms together, we get zero equals to minus 12 plus b, minus 2 which is minus 14 right so minus 14 plus b is 0 
or 14 equals to B. So we get the value of B as 14. Out of the choices, D matches. So the value of B is 14. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this solution helps you and gives you a method of finding the value of the unknowns. So basically, we formed two equations with the two conditions given. Factors, remember, should give you zero remainder. And that was the key to it. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to post questions and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.